Hey, 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 shh. Happy Monday, happy Monday. What do you mean happy Monday? It's Monday. Don't you know it's mandatory to be in a bad mood on a Monday? Happy Monday, happy I man ha. Happy Monday. Go away. Your good mood is giving me a headache. Happy Monday. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try. Work till I die, till I die, till I die. I'm gonna fail and get up, cause I'm not giving up on my dream. Hey, gorgeous, and welcome to my channel. I'm Kapada Shimange, and this is How I Do Things, the show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things. Now, you can use it as advice or take it as entertainment. Use it, don't use it. Take it, don't take it. Do what you will with it. Listen, I am no professional. No professional whatsoever. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Now, in life, sometimes you wake up and you're just like, ugh, hated here. I hated this morning. I hate everything. I hate you. I hate the way that it smells. I hate everything. Because you're just in a guck mood. You're just like, Ugh. especially as women, that time comes around and we're just like, your voice irritating. Your face disgusts me. It happens. We feel that way. We just feel so crappy and we just wish that we could just shake ourselves out of the crappiness. And it gets a little hard to do that. But today I'm going to give you the eight things that you can do to shake yourself out of that crappiness and bring on on the good vibes bring on the good mood and just feel like a ray of sunshine for nobody else but you now if you have any questions that you want to send to me head over to my instagram and look for this picture right here it's the questions picture it is in my insta story highlights all you have to do is go to at kopana shimange on instagram you'll find on my homepage there is a circle that says how i do things click on it and you'll find this picture right here reply and let me know what question you want me to answer in our next video and i'll do a video all about it if you have not subscribed to at least the afro just at least subscribe to the afro if anything just subscribe to the natural hair okay subscribe to my channel right now it's at the bottom it's the red word that says subscribe just click on it it will not charge you anything i promise you it is completely free and switch on the notification bell as well because every single day at 7 30 a brand new video goes live yes honey now let's not waste any more time let me tell you how to shake yourself out of that bad mood and get yourself into a good one number one is the most powerful revolutionary thing that you will ever hear about being in a bad mood get over it i mean it get over it whatever it is that's causing you a bad mood even if you just don't know because as women we wake up and we're just in a bad mood what it is from we don't know but just get over it just get over it just honestly just get over it you know that your bad mood actually affects you more than affects anybody else a bad mood is bad for you and no one else because you're trying to spread all your bad jujus all over the place okay when a person leaves your presence they're just gonna shake you off and move on with their lives so how about you get over your mood and just decide i'm actually just gonna get into a good mood because honestly whatever it is that i'm angry about i'm gonna get over it here's a story that i heard from oprah that i absolutely loved hearing the story she said she was angry at someone and she was just like oh this person just made her angry and then she was at an intersection she said she was walking i don't believe her and she saw this person at another restaurant and this person was laughing the nerve you know when you're angry at someone you're thinking to yourself i'm angry at you i'm in a bad mood because of you and you're laughing that's how the world is you're angry about someone and someone else is in an absolutely good mood about it actually the other party that is involved in whatever's causing you a bad mood that person's probably laughing they're over it they've forgotten about it but you you are still brewing just with seer sourness just the whole time get over it because you look like an idiot that's what happens when you're in a bad mood because everybody else is over it and you're not you're choosing to take on the bad mood and keep it and this just leads me to point number two which is just to stop just stop when you're in a bad mood and you catch yourself walking and you're frowning like this part right here is all together and you've got the veins right there just stop stop walking and realize i'm frowning i'm causing wrinkles i'm in a bad mood i'm stewing i'm causing myself an ulcer and gas why, why would I do that to myself? Because you, you are doing it to yourself. You may be in a situation where someone else made you angry, but you keeping the anger, 
you having a bad mood is actually you choosing it. You can't choose whether somebody else puts you in a bad mood or not, but you can choose to keep it. You can let go of it in that moment when it happened and leave it there, walk away from it and say, you bad mood, stay there, I am leaving. Or you can decide to carry it with you like a big heavy bag. So if you are, so if you are frowning, the first thing you're going to do is literally release the face. Calm the face. Thereafter, turn your frown into a smile. This is a choice, guys. Did you know that your body actually moves when you tell it to? You frown because your brain told your face to frown. So you can actually do the opposite. Tell your brain to tell your mouth to smile and it will smile. Number three, did you know that you can change your mood? You can completely change your mood by making a, deci a decision to switch it. So you've decided, you know what? I'm going to drop it. I'm going to stop dead in my tracks and stop whatever it is I'm doing and just recognize that I'm in a bad mood. So the third thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna make a decision to switch it around. I like to release tension. I feel as though tension is something that is quite physical and you can feel it as a ball and it's a knot. So I get to a place and I stretch, I stretch it out. And I hug myself to release my back, release the back. I shake it off. <laughs> literally physically shake it off that already has released heat in my body that i can feel that movement has also changed the oxygen levels in my body deciding to get up and down my husband always says do five push-ups you can literally do that and that changes your mood you take what you're doing and you completely break it off and you're just like, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm making a decision to change my mood. And you're going to look for the things that put you in a good mood. It is as easy as Googling a laughing baby and there the thing is gone. Number four is one of my favorite ways to get myself into a good mood is I put on my hype list. I literally have a playlist of songs that put me in, they hype me up. They literally just get me like hyped up so much. They make me feel like I'm a boss, I'm at the top of my game. Whatever it is that I'm in a bad mood about, this playlist just switches my mind completely. So I actually have a hype list that I've created on Spotify. Now it's free to be on Spotify. So click on the link below. And if you have any music or any songs that put you in a good mood, then please add them to the list. Let's actually create the How I Do Things hype music playlist so that we can put ourselves into a good mood. This is a good excuse to get yourself into a dance party. What I like to do is dance like a white girl. I mean, how does that not put you into a good mood? I deliberately want to dance like a cartoon character or I deliberately want to dance like a white girl. It's like the best thing. Ever. Dancing like an idiot, having a dance party, throwing it away, moves your body and releases chemicals within your body that actually put you into a good mood. It is almost impossible to have a white girl dance party and not feel good afterwards. Number five is to praise Jesus. I promise you, I praise Jesus. I've also got a praise pray playlist where I'm just there thanking Jesus in advance, just remembering where he got me from, from the pits of the devil's thong and raise me up into a life where honestly I do not know how God got me here but he did. I start to praise Jesus and these are the things that really get me into the best mood ever and praising the Lord is something that you give, you give worship but at the same time it's something that raises you up so much that it's almost selfish to praise but praising also just helps you to remember that there's so much good happening in my life there's so much that God has done for me that how do I not praise? How do I not get up and just feel so good? So I always have, I love choirs. I love lots of voices. So I always have that music just going in and just reminding me, oh, Tasha Cobbs is my one. Those are the songs, you know, those are the, those are the things that make me feel so much better. They raise me up so much and maybe they can work for you as well. Let me know what is your favorite praise and worship music and maybe we can share it together and get ourselves into a good mood collectively. Number six is something that I love to do if I'm in a bad mood in the morning is to overdo it with my breakfast. Just spoil myself with something that's just indulgent but still healthy. So even if I'm eating a bowl of oats, I'll just cut up my 
bananas, put in some pecans, and then I also put in some goji berries or some cranberries. I put in my breakfast seeds, and then I'll melt my peanut butter and swirl it around. And then in between the swirl, I'll have some honey, and then I'll sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon because that's how we do when you're a professional chef. You just go, ah. that's it. Spoil yourself with a very good breakfast. If you cannot sit for the breakfast, make a smoothie with whatever's in your house. Listen, if you do not know how to make a smoothie, I'll tell you the basics. Have one color fruit, so anything sugary. Strawberry, um, pineapple, mango, all of those, apricot. And then you want to have your base, which is a milk, a yogurt or water, and a banana. As long as you have banana and another fruit, and then some water, then you, you're good. That is a smoothie, done and dusted. A good breakfast gives you a good day. So stay away from the oil, stay away from frying anything, and make yourself a good healthy breakfast that looks amazing, so that when you eat it, you are eating love and inspiration. And when it goes into your body, because it's going to give you the energy to last throughout the whole day, it will be very hard to sustain that bad energy when you feel so good inside. Yes, yes, yes! Yes! Number seven is a pattern interrupt, which is exactly what I just did. Interrupt the pattern wherever you are. So if you're in a bad mood, I told you to stop, right? How about you jump down and do five push-ups, or you do five burpees, or you just go and you just like, yes, 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 yes. That's a pattern interrupt. It literally puts you into such a good mood. So you want to interrupt whatever it is that you're doing. If you are driving a car and you're in a really bad mood, pull over, walk around the car five times, get back in the car, boom, the mood has been broken. You now have to reset. Basically, it's just, a, it's just pressing the reset button. And I like to actually do this quite often with the work that I'm doing, which is just to say, you know what? Screw this, let's start again. And that is a pattern interrupt that really helps me to just reset my mind because I have to make another decision. Do I want to be on the negative side of things or do I want to be on the positive side of things because I just interrupted everything? Am I going to continue in this bad mood now that I've reset? Or am I just going to trash that bad mood and get into a good one? Pattern interrupts are some of my favorite things to honestly just interrupt what you've been doing. You may even forget what you were doing or saying before the pattern interrupt. And that's how good they are. So interrupt whatever it is that you're doing. Don't just stop, but do the opposite. If you're walking forward, stop and walk backwards. That is a pattern interrupt. If you're eating, stop and put the food away. If you are talking to someone, stop and walk away from the conversation. You want to completely break or interrupt whatever it is that you're doing because that means that you have a complete 360 turn and you can make a complete reset of your mind and the situation that you're in and what you're talking about and what you want to do moving forward. And number eight, because I always leave the best for last, if you really want to be in a good mood and you woke up in a crap mood in the morning then at half past seven every single day join us here on how i do things because i know i will do my best to put you into the best mood ever i hope that today i brought the vibe to your screen and it puts you in a very good mood this monday if you're not joining us live make sure that tomorrow you join us live 7 30 south african time i will be there in a live premiere click on the live chat button and you'll find us having a fire conversation that's all i have for you today i hope that you guys enjoyed this one and i hope that you have an amazing week i'll see you tomorrow morning i'm kopanish manga and this is how i do things Hey gorgeous, thank you so much for watching and making it right until the end of this video. I hope it puts you in a good mood and I hope that you'll be radiating the goodness for everybody else and most importantly for yourself. Now if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so right now. Here is the button, click on my face and feel free to watch the next video. Head over to my website www.kopanachipangi.com and sign up to the gorgeous gang to get access to my new ebook which is the seven hacks to boost your confidence. Until next time gorgeous. Bye. Shake your good thing, shake your good thing, baby.